all right so this is just to help you work on the activity and based on the activity you're supposed to make a cube and with some measurements that you have to follow and once you open a new file always go to model info on the right click it and select the format select millimeter for uh, since we plan to 3d print it for the precision select two decimal places in general and then for length snapping select one millimeter you can just change it later if you know what you're doing and then close it and then let's zoom in at the center and let's make a square it's 25 by 25 so i selected the center and then look at the lower right corner i will release my mouse and type 25 comma 25 press enter then that's it i'll zoom in further so that's a 25 by 25 square and then i'll use the push pull tool to pull up it doesn't matter how much because i can always release the mouse and type the exact measurement i'll type 1.5 that is our requirement look at the lower right corner then that's it and then i need to make the walls the height of the uh the wall should be 24.5 based on the example i gave you so it should be from this point to that point that that should be 24.5 okay so let's make the guide first escape okay so i'll make the guide there the wall the thickness of the wall is 1.5 so i'll just type 1.5 so it's there and then it's parallel to the x-axis so 1.5 again and then here 1.5 1.5 and then i can draw the lines guidelines or i can directly draw this square over there you can check if it's uh if the uh spacing is correct so that should be 1.5 that should be 1.5 that should be 1.5 and that should be 1.5 it seems correct so this is 1.5 and it should be 24.5 so 24.5 minus 1.5 is 23 so i'll use the push pull tool to pull this up to 23 millimeters i'll release type 2 and 3 look at the lower right corner and I'll press enter, then that's it. Okay, we can actually use the dimensions to put the labels. So I'll click there, and click there, and pull there. And as you can see, it's 24.5. So you add your labels this way to show that the uh, the dimensions are correct. Then let's make the one of the holes in front. So I'll Make another guide there to get the center. So that's the center. Let's get the center of this one again. So I have identified the center of every panel or every side. And then I'm going to make a circle. You decide how big but i'll make this five millimeters in diameter so i'll type 2.5 enter and that's it and then i'm going to use the push pull tool i'll pull i'll i'll push up to 1.5 it doesn't matter how long i'll just type 1.5 and then the hole should be there again let's check the width is 1.5 Right, let's do the uh, pentagon here. Or hexagon. So I'll do the same. 2.5. Then I'll push. 1.5. 1.5. Then that's it. Then I'll uh, draw the square. It's, the square should be center. 
let's say 5 millimeters so that would be from this point to that point that's 2.5 that should be 2.5 and then i can continue drawing or, or putting more guides or i can just use this and click there and then type 5 comma 5 to make a 5 by 5 millimeter square and then i'll push for 1.5 to make the hole and then for this one you make your own design uh in my case i wanted to make a label or a uh, a letter so i'll use 3d text i'll specify s for sure patch you can select the font that you want and then for the height let's make it 20. you can change it later for the text exclusion that's the um let, let's set it to zero click ok and it should be there you can make it smaller but for this demo i'll just leave it be so i'll put it at the center assuming that it's the center i'll leave it there you can just adjust it later okay and then it's currently grouped so you right click and select explode so that it will be ungrouped and i can push it forward or, or further to make a hole so that should be I made a mistake click undo uh, it seems that the uh the type is wrong it should be the inside so i'll just right click and select reverse paste so that should be it and then i'll select the push pull tool push it inwards oops undo what did i do I'll push it inwards uh so as you can see it's not actually um it's not actually really connected to the panel so that's why it ended up there so what i can do is i can check the distance from this point to this point is 0.10 so i can just push it further inside so that should be instead of 1.5 i'll select 1.6 so i'll push it inside and select 1.6 1.6 the hole should be there it worked and then to remove the guides i can click here for display and select delete all guides and i can continue putting more uh, dimensions To show the dimension or the uh, or putting the labels there as prescribed in the performance task and then I'm going to hide this so I can see what's the inside okay, it seems okay it seems correct then I can also put a label there to show I'll make a guide first that point to that point oops okay 1.5 that point okay so i'll use the dimension tool click there up to there and make a label there and then continue deleting the guide and then that's it okay just double check the example and complete the dimension or the labels and then basically that's it and of course don't forget to save your work and then there thank you